everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Romney and I make fashion and aesthetic videos for my last video of 2021 I wanted to kind of review um, my most worn clothing items and my favorite books that I have read this year not only my favorite clothing items because I have my favorite clothing items and then I have my most worn clothing items and there's definitely a difference there so I kind of tried to do like a mixture of both and then my favorite books that I read this year because I feel like on this channel we wear cute outfits and we read good books like that's just the vibe I was gonna do 10 and 10 and then I was putting everything together and it just made more sense to do 12 articles of clothing and eight books I don't know why it just like it just made more sense because there was a lot of clothing that I had to narrow down and less books I'm actually gonna start with books is that okay um, I will leave timestamps down below if you just want to watch the clothing part or you just want to watch the books um, but I recommend watching both because I got some pretty good stuff here and I will leave links down below to any maybe books that I ordered online or any clothing that is not thrifted so yeah let's go ahead and just get into it I'm gonna do my books like in order of when I actually read them throughout the year kind of so one of the first books that I read this year was Little Women and I feel like that was just it ended up being like the theme of my entire year this is now my favorite book Ever. it's just such like a cozy nostalgic vibe and I love it so much um, and I also wanted to take this moment to show you the antique little woman copy that I got for Christmas um, my boyfriend gave this to me and it's just so cute um, and you take the cover off and it has a really beautiful inside cover it looks like this and yeah I just think it is so beautiful I'm trying to like collect more antique books Anyways, I just thought that was really cute but I love Little Women so much if you have not read it I highly recommend reading that one I feel like it's just it's a must read for everyone okay next um this is a completely different vibe but I reread the Twilight series this year because I have already read them before but it was like in middle school or something so rereading them was just it just brought me back to like the good old days of like getting home from school and then like going on YouTube and like searching like Twilight music video lip dub kind of like I, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about but my sister and I would watch these like Twilight like music videos where they would take like scenes from Twilight and then like like put like popular songs over them it was so stupid anyways it just it just brought me back to the good old days it was a good nostalgic read but those books are on my list because that would cover like half of my list. But I wanted to include a new book that I read, which was Midnight Sun. And if you have not read this and you've read the Twilight series, you absolutely need to read Midnight Sun. This was actually the longest book that I read page-wise this year, but I'm pretty sure I finished it in the shortest amount of time than any of the books on my list. Yeah, it's almost like 700 pages and I finished it in a few days when usually it would take me like a week on average to finish just like a normal like 300 page book or something I just love it so much like I literally cannot put it down it's so interesting to like reread a book from your childhood kind of but in a different perspective of a different character and it was just really interesting and I heart Twilight next on the list is Anne of Green Gables this was my summer obsession um I watched Anne with an E on Netflix and that fully just like divert divulged we divulged is that what you say divulged me into the world of Anne of Green Gables and I watched all of like the old films and the old like tv series that they used to have it's just the vibe like that's the summer vibe like Anne of Green Gables is the summer vibe so I ended up reading the book while I was watching all the shows and stuff I haven't read the rest of the series yet but I'm going I have them here but I'm going to continue to read them this summer because by the time I was like finishing up watching all the series and reading this book it was becoming fall and I was like wanting to get into my fall books but Anna Green Gables so good I definitely recommend reading this if you have not do you guys do this like when you read a book or watch a movie and you love it so much that like you you start to change a little bit I do that and it's so annoying like it's so irritating that I do that but like every time I'm inspired by a different character it's like my wardrobe changes like I feel like my personality it doesn't really change like to people that know me but like I feel like in my head I change I don't know it's stupid next is the invisible life of Addie LaRue and this was a very popular book this year I saw a lot of people talking about this one so I think I read this in September but I absolutely love this book it's definitely like one of my top three favorite books that I read this year 
and I feel like it's the one book on this list that I feel like everyone would like no matter what it's just such a like good overall book and I feel like a lot of people would like it and a lot of people do like it a lot of people hate it as well and I, I kind of see why like I definitely see the criticism the criticism of it but for me it was just such a good read literally could not put it down like so fun um, if you like dark academia you would definitely like this book like some of the dark academia popular books such as like the maidens or secret history kind of have like really dark themes for me so i prefer stuff like this where it kind of has, has like a dark academia vibe but it's not too like of like a serious dark theme but basically if you have not heard about this book it's about this girl who basically gets cursed and she ends up being invisible to people where she meets them and then the second she walks away they will instantly forget about them and then some and she lives forever i'm so bad at explaining premises but she lives forever and then eventually like 300 years later she meets someone and like he actually remembers her and it's kind of like a mystery as to why and then they kind of go through life together for a little bit and yeah so i just highly recommend this book next the nature of witches i started reading this in october and it is obviously about witches but basically in their world they have four different kinds of witches and each season whichever season they are born in is where they are most powerful and the main character is an ever witch and she has like all of the powers and she has to like save the world basically um but it's just a fun read it like takes place on like a university type campus so it kind of has like the harry potter vibe but like definitely like just different i like how in this book they took the witch theme but they kind of made it different to where it was like they have their powers in their season and like i like that their magic actually has limits like it almost feels realistic in a way and i like that and it was just a good read i love reading about witches so this was a great one so next is the x hex which was one of my book of the month selections for october which is a subscription-based book service i've been sponsored by them a few times on my channel not sponsored today but i'm just letting you guys know um but this was a really fun read for October because obviously, again, it's about witches. And it's just, it's kind of like a silly premise, but like it has serious tones at the end. I don't know. She hexes her ex-boyfriend and then it's supposed to be just like a silly, like fun, like not life-threatening hex. And then it becomes life-threatening. Like he's like almost dying like every single day. And they kind of like go together to like figure it out. And then it's like affecting the whole town. They end up like falling back in love. And then it's just like... It's just kind of cute, a fun, light read. Like it's only like 300 pages. As much as I love reading, you know, intellectual kind of books, I also just love like easy reads that I can just like breeze through really quick. They're not gonna affect my mental state. I'm not gonna be like thinking about them for hours after I read a chapter because it's like taking over my whole life. You know what I mean? Next, this is also one of my top three favorite reads of the year, which is Joe and Lori which is a romantic retelling of Little Women as if Joe and Lori ended up together instead of Lori and Amy. I love retellings or sequels to things because I like already knowing the characters. Um, I feel like that makes it a little bit easier to read and also just like immediately like gets me into the book without having to be introduced to all of the characters. And it's just so cute. Like I literally could not put it down. Cute, cozy, obviously like the same vibe with Little Women, which is one of my favorite books. But basically it takes place after Joe finishes Little Women and she's trying to figure out part two and like how all the sisters end up and who they marry and all of that. And trying to figure out the book at the same time as trying to figure out her own life. Lori is like trying to propose to her and she declines him like in the movie, but then they actually end up together and falling in love and it's just super duper cute and i highly recommend this obviously if you like little women you would love this book next is another book of the month selection which i read in december this year which is called the holiday swap and this was such a cute again just like fun and easy read which i really like that sometimes um basically about these two twins that switch lives for like a week before christmas and it has like there's like baking in it and then they both fall in love with someone they have like their little small town that they live in and the town reminds me of like stars hollow from gilmore girls this book reminds me of gilmore girls meets the parent trap which is one of my favorite childhood movies meets like hallmark christmas film all in one book and it's just super duper cute i would recommend this to anyone in december or around the holiday time 
all of the books like my favorite books from this year but if i had to say a top three i would say midnight sun joe and laurie and the invisible life of Addie larue and then my all-time favorite book not even this year is little women so yeah moving on to the clothing portion of this video i feel like this thing has like a glare on it and it's really bothering me so let's just let's just go like that for now okay it's still like just pulling the focus too much okay let's just So, clothing. If I had to say there was one thing that I wore the absolute most of, it is 100% this Selkie sweatshirt, this Michelangelo sweatshirt, because it's so comfortable. Like, I, I literally wear it like every single night to go to bed or like when I'm lounging around. And I'll wear it even like out to be cute because obviously it's super cute. It's from the brand Selkie, which is the brand that has like the big like puff sleeve dresses. And their loungewear section is like totally slept on. I definitely recommend taking a look at their sweatshirts and stuff. This one is sold out, unfortunately. I mean, I'll double check if it is. I'll link it down below, but pretty sure it's sold out. But they do have like other sweatshirts that have like this similar vibe if you're interested. Next, super simple cardigan that kind of ties in the front, you know? Um, this is just a good lightweight, tiny cardigan to throw on for somebody that lives where it's not super cold. I mean, it's not cold outside at all. It's like freaking hot all the time. It feels like heck down here. It's a good one to grab if I'm like, cause I'm obviously cold like when I go inside anywhere, like a store or like a restaurant or something, I'm always cold. So this is just a good thing to like have and bring with and it goes with everything. And I feel like it just looks super cute and flattering. Like I love like the little tie in front and I know it's like super duper basic, but I just feel like it was something that I was always reaching for no matter what. And it's from the brand Princess Polly. Period. Next is a dress. This was my go-to dress. I feel like a lot of the items in this video, in the clothing section, I mean, like you're gonna be like, yeah, we know, we see you wearing those all the time. And that's the point. I just, I want to reiterate why I'm always reaching for these items because my goal when I buy things is I want it to be one of these items. I want it to be an item that I'm wearing all the time, so much so that people just get tired of them where I get tired of them, but I literally can't take it off because it's so comfortable and it's so cute. So this dress I got like two or three years ago from H&M and I started wearing it again a lot this year, which is just like an A-line puff sleeve square neck black dress. Super duper simple, but I can style it a lot of different ways. And it's always just my go-to dress for like a date night or like something where I want to look cute and a little bit dressed up, but I don't want to like stand out too much or like look crazy. I just want to look simple and elegant. That's the word, elegant. Next, probably like my second most worn item this this year, maybe. Cause I did get them a little bit later in the year. I think I got these in like September or October or something, but it's my brown trousers. I mean, these pants are insanely comfortable. They're high waisted. They have like these really deep pockets and they're just so cute and chic and they go with everything. And definitely one of my favorite clothing items I have ever owned in my entire life. And I'm just like always throwing them on no matter what and you need to buy these pants you, you just need to i'll link them down below <laughs> the next thing i have is also a pair of pants i can't show you because i'm wearing them so you'll see it in the little video that i insert but these plaid pants are so comfortable i'm only gonna wear a pair of pants a lot if they're extremely comfortable and these ones are and i'm obsessed with them obviously because they're on this list they don't have pockets that's the only thing that i'm like mm, like why don't you have pockets because like i have to put my stuff somewhere especially when i just like go out for a walk and i don't want to bring my bag but i want to take my phone it's like where am i where am i gonna put my phone you know so that's annoying but i love these pants and they're super cute and plaid and you know they're just the, the perfect little plaid academia pants next is a skirt and it's this one that you've all seen a million times because i wear it all the time princess polly again when i i thrift a lot of my clothes right and you're seeing a lot of stuff from princess polly because when i do buy something new I want to make sure that it is something that I'm going to wear all the time and use for a long time, which is why you're seeing a lot of that. But it's just like a nice plaid and it's not too platty, as I say. It's just like a nice, simple thing and it goes with everything. It'd be really cute with my outfit right now, actually. But yeah, I think it's called like the Fike skirt on Princess Polly. I'll link it down below. You don't need to know the name. Okay, next. I'm showing lots of like fall winter things, but I wanted to include also some of my most worn things that I was wearing this summer because 
that was included in my year and um dressing for the summer is so hard for me because it's literally it's so hot and disgusting here in the summer like it's like i don't even want to like go outside ever but these shorts got me through it when i wanted to look really cute and chic and like academia but i didn't want to be super duper hot so i actually thrifted these shorts and it came with like a little like belt but i can't find it and the button fell off so i usually just put like another brown belt over on top to hide all of that but they're like a paper bag kind of short they're super high-waisted and they are green corduroy i just really like these shorts high-waisted lightweight it's what i need in the summertime and yeah it was just like a good thing to have for my academia wardrobe in the summertime i feel like i keep saying the same thing over and over again i thrifted them for like 15 dollars, and i literally wore them like almost every day this summer so definitely worth it Next is another thing that I was wearing religiously this summer, which is this vest that I thrifted from actually the same vintage store that I found the shorts at. And it's a vintage Liz Claiborne vest. I find a lot of Liz Claiborne vests, um, like vintagey ones. So you can look that up on like Etsy or Poshmark or ThreadUp or something if you want to. But it's just this really cute floral thing. This was like perfect when I was going through my Anne of Green Gables phase over the summer. It's just like exactly who it reminds me of. Um, but anyways, I like I button it up. I wear it under like a collared shirt And I was also just kind of like wearing it on its own a lot this summer And I feel like that looks really cute as well And it's just like super like lightweight cute vintage kind of vibe definitely one of my favorite thrift finds of the year Next is Something that reminds me of the spring Because corsets were like super in style and that's when like Bridgerton was really popular a lot of people are getting into like vintage fashion and stuff like that so i had ordered this corset from vanessa mooney it's like this gorgeous gold color and it's really good quality and i was just wearing it all the time i love like layering over things like over a collared shirt or a puff sleeve blouse like i just always look so elegant and beautiful um i also have the black one but i feel like i actually ended up wearing the gold one a little bit more and i don't know i feel like it like matches my hair kind of cute but um yeah, this gold corset was just like everything to me and it's just like always a good go-to when i want to dress up an outfit and yeah i wore it all the time this year next this video would not be complete without this button-up shirt that i have been wearing so much this year and i especially i have a lot of button-up shirts but i like this one a lot because it's super lightweight sheer and it has like this little polka dot texture which just adds a little bit of something something which makes it good for layering because it's really lightweight but it also just has like an extra extra thing to it i just really like this uh i bought a lot of collared white shirts this year and there was like three that i wanted to include in this video but that would take up three slots in my most worn clothing item so i narrowed it down to this one because i genuinely think it was the one that i reached for the most all right next is this black vest that i wear so much this is also like one of my most worn clothing items and it's just like every outfit that i wear i'm like this would look so much better with a black vest layered over it and then i do and then it ends up being like five instagram posts in a row where i'm wearing the same vest because i just feel like it actually makes like every single outfit look so much better and i'm not wrong like it does i literally found this out forever 21 like seven years ago and i still wear it oh that was the last clothing item but i just like i had i wasn't really gonna do accessories but i had to include these shoes because let me buckle them up these mary janes have just gotten me through the year like they're so comfortable and for what like they're like the cheapest shoes that i have and they're the most comfortable shoes that i have they go with every single outfit they have like a chunky platform on them let me like actually show them even though i'm sure you've already seen them if you watch my stuff but they're just so cute like can't say anything else about them they look really cute with socks and tights and they work in the summer and the fall and winter i just love them so much and again they just they really got me through the year okay that is everything basically i would call this video like my 2021 favorites because it's my favorite clothes and my favorite books and like i said that's just that's just what we do here i want to talk about more of like my favorite books and stuff on my channel if you guys are interested in that so let me know and thank you so much for all of the support on my channel this year. It's been like a year since I started making videos basically. Um, like I posted my last, my first video uh, like in the middle of December in 2020. And then I started posting consistently at the very beginning of January in 2021. So I basically been on here for like a year. It's my year anniversary. And yeah, thank you so much for all the support. I feel like 
I was not expecting it to grow this much this year. I thought I would, I would get like a thousand subscribers maybe, but I'm really thankful for all of you that are here and that continue to watch all my videos. I appreciate it so much. Like, I cannot fathom the fact that people even take like 10 minutes out of their day or 15 minutes to like watch one of my videos for 20 minutes. I feel like this video is like a little bit longer, but yeah, so thank you for that. I mean, that's like so nice. I can barely like get through like editing my videos because I feel like I'm so annoying but <laughs> thank you guys thank you so much um follow me on Instagram TikTok Pinterest whatever you want that's all linked down below um I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your dinner night whenever you're watching this and I hope you have a really good 2022 I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time bye